Yeah, it's struggling here too. <laughs> this is too much grip. The tyres have too much grip and the motors can't handle it. See, I don't think it's going to be able to do this. <laughs> motors get hot very quickly. Yeah. Oh no, see this is just that's impossible now because it's that it's just too grippy, like too much traction, you know. And even that much of a slope there is not really working too well, is it? Well the tracks aren't falling off at least. It's good. As soon as I try and steer on here, that's the end of it. I can, if you let it run forward a bit, and then you turn, it's okay, because you've got a little bit of momentum. So that, oh now we, huh. Nah, that's pretty, not really what I was thinking. Just barely making it up here. <laughs> oh, these motors are stuffed already. I think that grinding noise is coming from the gearbox here. Yeah, that gearbox is stuffed. Gearbox and or the motor. No, it's the gearbox, I think, because every time I loosen it, it comes right again. And if I drive it gently, it's okay. Oh, and it doesn't want to go that way. <laughs> that way's fine. See if we can go backwards up the hill. Okay. No, got nothing. Well, if it wasn't for those motors being so weak and useless, it wouldn't be too bad. Can't get through this long grass at all. Uphill at least, let's try downhill. Well, in my daydreams while I was designing this, I was thinking, you know, I'll just drive up the slope here, no problem. <laughs> so I can steer it. As long as I steer just a little bit slowly, I can make progress. Can't turn corners quickly though. Ah. Well that's going to conclude this little adventure and overall I'm fairly pleased with how it turned out. You may be thinking from the fact that I put the word fail in the video title that I would not be pleased, 
But the only thing that really went wrong was that the choice of these motors was not very good. It's a little bit hard to know what you're getting into when you buy something over the internet that you haven't seen in person or tried before. So yeah, they just couldn't really handle it. They got very, very hot and one of them even started grinding the gears in the gearbox. Um, the reason I thought they would be okay is because this thing over here, which is 2.6 kilos, is using a single motor of about the same size, probably a little bit different gearing. Wouldn't be too much different though, I don't think. Uh, and that's running on 2S power and that can climb the hill that I showed you outside no problem at all on the grass mind you, no, um, not on the dirt that I was looking at um, not enough traction with these wheels so I was thinking that this 4 kilos, 2 motors, 6S, all this traction would be able to get up that hill as well but it couldn't and I thought for sure that the cause of failure was going to be that the stitching would break free or the tracks would fall off or um, these aluminium teeth would get stuck as they're trying to go through here and it would all just jam up but overall that aspect of the design worked very well much better than I thought it would actually so maybe it would be a pity not to come back to this sometime in the future with larger motors and maybe try and reuse this wheel situation that I've got here oh I'll put on the screen here a picture of my first design so this was my plan A that I was originally thinking to make and I only got one side of this made and stuck the motor on there and tried to turn the tracks a bit and it was pretty clear even at that point that it was just never ever going to work but the reason I like that is that I didn't need to cut the mountain bike tires I could just use them at their normal size so anyway <laughs> I ended up scaling everything down by half and doing that sort of needle and thread trick with the Kevlar and another reason that I was pleased with the overall outcome is that my little control board thingy here worked perfectly and that was actually one of the main reasons that I ever thought to to do this at all so the test for this case was to take this dumb radio, dumb in name and dumb in function, so it's just PW, regular PWM outputs that come out of the receiver here and of course this motor driver can't do anything with that but with some visual configuration or programming if you like um, I was able to uh, make it do what it needed to do so that was the test and that part of it worked fine uh, I'm not going to explain too much about this, I'm still working on that at the moment but believe me I will tell you all about that <laughs> sometime in the future uh, another thing that I was pleased to find was that this motor controller board that I got, I wasn't expecting too much from it, but it's really good. It's easy enough to use, very smooth, can handle a fair bit of power, way more than these motors could handle, uh, and it doesn't cost too much either. So that was nice. Um, might even get another one of those in the future perhaps. Anyway, that's enough uh, waffling from me for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.